I'm in the midst of all that crowd. It's a good thing it's in the morning time. I don't know when they have games though, but there's more traffic than normal. Oh, I got the thing backwards. I see you. down to Jackson's County Courthouse to get my summons uh, so I can take it over to my uh, servers and I saw on the news last night that uh, basketball is going on they got big 12 tournaments here and it's affecting traffic mad like come on people let's go I want to go mother even if it's just one, yeah. I'm never gonna get to my parking place. People are just in a complete line and then they'll stick out in the intersection when they have to stop. And they'll be trapped and won't let me get over because I gotta get over to my parking place. Sprint Center is a block away, and here we're starting to see the scalpers. I never did take the basketball. You wouldn't see me there trying to get a ticket. I'll find a meter, you never do. If I got any change, I used to try to keep change. Especially for Jefferson City, I always like to shoot. You can put a dime in and stay for 30 minutes there, just about. This is bullshit. I haven't parked over there at that place for years. Well, I've got a new, a new uh, co-pilot. We got all of our downtown business done, me and Annabelle did. So now, Charlie and I are going to go, we got to go get a transmission. But I'm looking in the printout of some of the salvage yards around and it was printed out in there so the radius circles there I talked to a guy in Memphis and he says that he doesn't have one so now I've got to start calling other people quickly I gotta find a transmission oh advanced we want advanced my blinkers out Comfortable, Charlie. We better split, honey. I don't That's know what I gotta idea. do. Because now I'm shortened on what I could accomplish here. Since I've got to leave tomorrow, I don't want to miss that transmission a day because of the weekend's going to be so great. Oh, darn. Well, I'll be with you. Oh, no, you're going to transmission, so you can't put your little, little desk, uh, table in there. Oh, I forgot about That's that. That's okay. I, and now my time's so short, I don't even want to try to load it. it no, you don't want to do that because the transmission will be in there. Yeah. How I feel about that, but even though it don't lock now, but when it did, I until somebody told me you could do that with a needle. If somebody just left me alone on that, I would have thought that was the safest thing in the world. 
And so, like that. Why, they're they were, professionals. Well, they were, well, that's for keys, though. You gotta think, that's for keys. Okay? This is, you gotta bolt down there. Something has to go on here to swivel to catch my handle that's on my, when you take my thing down, that's what that's. I got you. Let's make and, something. We'll do it. And be able to move. And they don't have that kind of stuff there, but they were trying to help me. I understand. They spent more time on that, trying to think, well, what can we do? That? Or, oh, I know what they were going to do. They were going to take that out where there is a key, but when they did that, they didn't have what went to it to turn. I remember now yeah. to turn a thing. But they were, they took time to help me, even though it, they're, yeah. they came from Cross the street to High V and charge sixty dollars to get me in my truck. Well, then me High V manager there did it for me because it was cold and I I couldn't get hold of nobody. Some lady went on the phone trying to get through Facebook to to you and your kids, my daughter and something. Nobody could get through there because I didn't have phone numbers. It was blocked in my truck. Do you remember that story? No. Paid sixty bucks for them to come across the street because they're across the street. Yeah. To, uh, sixty bucks. Yeah. I felt bad and everything, but I, I couldn't get a hold of nobody. I didn't yeah. know anybody not, that has my key anyway. Yeah. I yeah. calling Aunt Rose wasn't going to do me any good. Yeah. But I, we were trying to get you on Facebook. We were trying to get uh, Chandra on Facebook. Was I in town, I guess? I don't I don't know. I asked him. I said, look, I sure would like to know where Markeisha works at. I, I, can you help me find out where she works? Yes, $350. And, oh. and uh and compared to how much does she owe three thousand it's going to end up to be four thousand dollars or something but what happens if she don't end up paying and don't she i can just there. call and ask him if that's where she works but that's been 10 years ago she's been renting forever you know, i don't look for her to work there uh -huh. and then it's no good if it's like a babysitter if they're working at a daycare where they're not really legit or something they don't they yeah. just give her a few bucks and that's not very good but anyway 350 that's how much it's going to cost if I want to start garnishing in her wages. Uh, and I don't know. Uh, she don't have a job, that's terrible. There's 350 gone. Yeah. If we were there cleaning up the house, look for check stubs, and you know, in her trash. Yeah. We try to do that and then maybe find, uh, be able to find. Uh, yeah, I, I, unless you need to do it right, I think I would wait. And plus, you know how that goes. She was always the working. He didn't work. He would sit around and watch the kids or something at first when I first met him. So I realized that she's the one making the money at that time. Now years go by and things well, see, different. He's probably got a pee or something. Well, right? he, he won't go nowhere. Come on. Where, do you have, let me see something. I think I saw it down here. Let me go around here and get that stuff. Hey, Jimmy. Charlie.